Today we're showing how anyone can get timber framing for a residential project designed through a simple web page. You can also get a bracing design check which shows where changes in the bracing layout need to be made. For those who prefer using Grasshopper you can also download the script and we'll demo that being used as well. This is hopefully a useful tool for architects who want almost instant structural feedback on their work without the usual back and forth with their structural engineer. So this is the file I loaded in the intro and you can see that all the timber framing has been designed everything's got a size and it's also undergone a bracing check and it's color coded each of the bracing walls so I'll show the source of this file so this is a CAD file now it's got solids in it um, and lines for highlight it you can see there's points, there's 10 curves, there's surfaces, poly surfaces and meshes. You can use any of that stuff and the script will go through and interpret it. So it'll strip all the stuff away that it doesn't need and then it'll go through and connect everything up to make sure it's a proper structural model and then after that it will go through and work out the load width for each of the members and then it will do a timber design check on every single member and that takes yeah only a couple of seconds actually um, and then um, on top of that is the bracing check which it does after after that so the bracing check you can see here is color coded um, if I go back to the original source, you can see the braced walls are just flat surfaces. Um, and it picks that up, it understands where to put them, it makes them the right height if they're not. Um, and it connects them to the model. And then it color codes based on how much wind load is applied at each face in the north, east, south and west direction. And then it gives a ratio and it color codes that. So you can see down here in this red section here that although it's still working, because the pale red is working, but only just. Whereas the dark red over here, there's one panel. That's telling you that there's not enough bracing. So here there is enough bracing, but it's only just working. The yellow is medium and the green is easily passing. So you've, you can see on the first on the upper floor, you've got plenty of bracing. No problem getting any of that working, with one exception. And that's this arrow region. So what this arrow region is telling you is somewhere within this red square that you can see, and the arrow indicating which direction there needs to be some additional bracing so the architect will come along and and pick up that I need to put some braced panels probably on this outer edge but it can be set in a little bit I don't know that may not work for their layout for their particular rooms so it probably makes sense to put it on that outer wall. But this script is telling them somewhere in this rectangle you need, and it sort of makes intuitive sense if you think about it, if a wind's hitting us, hitting this building in this direction, it looks like I'll probably need a wall along this edge. And that's what this script is saying. It's, it's telling you, you probably need some braced wall along here. Well, you do need a braced wall along here. There's nothing there that the script can find. So it's telling you you have to put something in there for it, for it to work in wind. Um, down here, you can see this red panel here. 
um, that's failing as well. So there's not enough there. Um, but because there is something there, it's highlighting which bits aren't, aren't working. So you might need to make this a bigger panel and upload it again and see if it runs and comes out um, as passing. So that's two ways um, that the script gives a quick, very, very quick feedback to the architect. So they can just quickly make a change, upload. Does it work? Yes, no. Not quite enough, a little bit further. Okay, so really trying to get a solution for an architect that can get their timber frame and their bracing check out really, really quickly. Now you can always just download this into your own CAD program if you prefer. So you just simply download the Rhino model, open it up, and it'll look like that. So if I maximize and shade it, you can see there's your Rhino model with all that information that was on the web page, all the sizes labeled and all the 3D framing in there. Now you can try this out for yourself. Just go to our website at structuredparametrics.com. If you go to ResiFramer in under the Struck Apps section, you can see it's running there. So that's a default file and you can just simply upload your own file here and you'll get the results back. Usually takes about 15 seconds or so. If it takes any longer than that, um, please let us know and we'll see if we can speed that up. Now also at this website you can download the script as I said in the intro to use in your own grasshopper definition and that's under struct scripts. So you can see here we've got a list of some of our scripts and you just click the get scripts button and that'll show you where you can download the grasshopper script. So once you've downloaded the scripts, you'll get some components like this. I've collected them into a little collection here. So I've got the Framecrafter Auto Wind Resi Framer Structured Modeler. But today we're looking at Resi Framer. So I just isolate this. So you can use it like any normal grasshopper component. Just simply highlight the geometry you want to have a look at. Set all, so set multiple preps, meshes and curves. I've done this already, so I'll just preview that now. And it'll move the results to the origin to keep it away from the main file. So I'll just zoom in here. And you can see it's got all the same information it had on the web page version or the web app so some people may prefer that you can see that that took about eight seconds um, it does have to do quite a lot of computation on all those calculations as well as modeling everything um, it's a little bit slower because it has to go through the web to get the latest script but uh, we're trying to speed it up as much as we can. If you have any feedback on any of these tools, please let us know so that we can improve them. And we should point out that these should be considered 80% designs. Because it's an automated tool, there are some situations where it won't get things correct and a structural engineer will know how to properly size those few elements. There's a list of a few things that you might 
might want to watch out for when using the tool on the website some of the limitations of the current design having said that we're still updating this continually so it will get better in the future as well thanks for watching this structured parametrics video Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.